The Tower of London is the third stop on our tour. The tower is more like a fortress than a single tower. It dates back to 1066 when the Duke of Normandy invaded England and built castles to fortify his position. Since then, it has been used mainly as a prison by many English rulers since. It has also been converted into a treasury, armory, and a royal mint. A common misconception is that the criminals were hanged here, but only seven were hanged while it was used as a prison. During World War I and II, men charged with espionage were killed there. The Germans bombed it heavily during the Blitz, but it has since been restored and maintained its original medieval architectural style. In the 1830s, the Chartist movement in England was in full swing. The Chartists wanted a more democratic system of government to be put into place. They called for a ballot for all men and an abolishment of having to own property to vote or hold a position. Rather than agree to the Chartists' demands, Parliament called for the Tower to build a huge wall to stop any demonstrations. They also garrisoned it with a thousand soldiers. After the threat passed, so did many of the tower's institutions. The mint left, and the tower became solely a tourist attraction and included a zoo for a short time. In the 1820s, the animals started the transition of living in the tower to being moved to a real zoo. For decades, it had been commonplace for the tower's guards to be attacked by the bears, lions, and monkeys that had been donated to the tower's royal animal collection. 